the 2021 Street Parking Vault. The Street Parking Vault is a one workout a week for 25 week series with the goal to help street parking members build consistency. This, however, is the beginning of round two. If you have done this before, this is your opportunity to retest the workouts or try a different version. Customize these movements and choose a version that fits your ability. Your scores and weights don't matter. The goal is to maintain consistency from week to week. You just can't miss. If this is your first time doing this workout, click on the link below, which will take you to the original version that breaks down all of the customizations, tips, as well as all the different versions of the workout. All right, guys, it is round two, week number 22 of the 2021 Street Parking Vault. And we've got one that you might have blocked out of your memory a little bit. We've got Hera this week. Hera is front squats or dumbbell squats, push press, and then with the remaining time in that 10 minute window, you're gonna be doing max wall balls. So two ways to approach this one this time, depending on how it went for you last time. If you were within the goal range or, or even if you exceeded it, um, I want you to try to go for broke this time and maybe make some bad decisions. What I mean by that is, is don't pace it, do a huge set of squats, and then break the push press in as few sets as possible. And then when you pick up that medicine ball, do a huge set of wall balls. This might not be the best strategy to improve your score, but it also might show you what you're actually capable of if you don't overpace, which so many of us do. Now, if you were not in the goal range or you barely made the goal range and you wanna just get a better score, I would say do the opposite of what I just said. Break all your squats into tens. Break all your push press into tens with a three breath break in between, very short break, and then pick up the wall ball and never do less than seven reps. If you're doing shift this time, instead of completely going to program A, if you're not comfortable with that, what you can do is do the shift version with uh, the program A movement. So you're gonna do the five rounds of 10 and 10, but do it with two dumbbells, do it with actual push press, and then take your rest, and then instead of 50 air squats, try to go for 50 wall balls. All right, you guys, welcome back. This is week 22 of The Vault. I am about to redo Hera, 10 minute AMRAP. They will tell you the rest. Uh, I did 50 pound dumbbells last time, I'm doing 50 pound dumbbells again this time, 20 pound wall ball both times. Obviously my goal is to do a little better, but I'm actually gonna experiment a little bit. And I don't know why I all of a sudden just got like more nervous about this workout. It's 10 minutes, it's always the 10 minute workouts to make me nervous. Um, but, uh, but yeah, let's see how it goes. And he's off. Shocker that Jeb wants to experiment. <laughs> <laughs> Jeb loves a good experimentation. He sure does. You know, I guess this is a good time to bring it up. I, when um, doing my homework for this redo, yeah. I realized that the spoof that went along with this one yeah. was the legendary Get Hard spoof. <laughs> <laughs> the UTI challenge. <laughs> yes. And 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 Jeb's um, uh, bend toward experimentation yes. was really put on display in that. It spoof. really was, and that was one of the ones that's going to go down in kind of like meme history. I Absolutely. feel for street parking. Absolutely. So I'm I'm pretty excited you brought that up. Thank yeah. you for that You're memory. Welcome. It's You're lovely. Welcome. Um, okay, so what is he experimenting with though, Alex? Like, what was he talking about? So as he mentioned, it's a 10 minute AMRAP. Um, but you have to, there's an obstacle kind of in the first bit. Okay. You have to get through 50 weighted squats. In this particular program version, he's using the dumbbells. You could also use a barbell for back squats, or, uh, excuse me, front squats, or a sandbag for front squats. Okay. 
And then once he's gotten through those 50 reps, he moves on to 50 push press with those yeah. dumbbells. Once he's completed that, any time he has remaining in the 10 minutes, he is going to complete as many wall ball reps as he can. And that is his score. So when you're saying this first little bit is an obstacle, I would refer to that as a workout in itself. But OK, tiny well, obstacle. No, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, because it's that's the thing. It's going to play a huge part in yeah. how well he can perform during the wall balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it doesn't. It won't count toward anyone's score. That's so a bummer. It's a it's a tightrope walk too because <laughs> you don't want to overpace and have less time on the wall balls, but you also don't want to push too hard and you know not have anything yeah. left in the tank to to chip away at those wall balls. So so he's doing a different strategy this time than last time. Yes. So last time. I, I think he is going to keep with the same rep scheme with the squats, which was yes. 25, 15, 10. Correct yes, me if I'm wrong. that's correct. Yes. Last time he was a little bit more ambitious on his push press reps. And, and, and the wall balls, too. And the wall balls. Yeah. yeah, you're right, you're right. So this time he's going to take more breaks. He's going to break a little bit more frequently on the push press. Yeah. He's going to try to stick around five to seven reps per set. Yep. Um, and see if that lends itself better to the wall balls. And as you mentioned, he is going to break a little bit more frequently on wall balls, but probably not break for as long. Yeah, because what happened last time um, was he was going for, in oh, both the, the push, push press, press and in the wall balls, he was going for sets of 10, but then found that being a little bit more ambitious with those sets of 10s led him to eventually doing sets of like, Four, because right. <laughs> he was just burning out. Right. So he's trying to split the difference, I guess, here and go into more of like a five to seven range on the push press and like sevens on the wall ball, see if he can like end up with a higher score. Last time, his max rep wall ball score was 72. Yep. So we'll see. And also, he made it to the wall balls last time. He started the wall balls at 6.07. So we'll yeah. see if he can get there um, in a little so less time. We have a time. nice little time mark to see where he is, if he's on track to, to beat his old score. And he actually, with the 50 pound dumbbells, is doing the extra challenge option. So even though he did exceed the high end of the goal range last time, yeah. he's really done everything he can to kind of make sure that he stays around there by yeah. going extra challenge. And what is the goal range? It is 50 to 70 reps. Okay, okay, okay. So he did, yeah, he went over and he's looking to go over even more. I think he was, so basically his, idea with this is to see if he can use the same weights and if a different strategy is going to get him further down the road, yes, I guess. Yes, exactly. And for those, of you, for those of you repeating this workout, I think that that's a great yeah. strategy. If you, you know, I'm kind of like that. When I take notes, it's very thorough. I'm, yeah. you know, noting when I broke, yeah. you know, that kind of stuff. Over What my sets look like. Oh, go um, figure, grass. So if you are like me or like Jeb and you know those those details, then you can maybe try bigger sets, smaller sets, whatever you think would work best. In general though, guys, we want you to have at least four minutes to work on the wall balls, yes. if not a little bit more. So you're looking at four to five minutes, about half of the time in the 10 minute AMRAP to work on those wall balls. So make sure that you are choosing an appropriate weight, choosing an appropriate maybe piece of equipment um, to fit within that window. A great option to, uh, I mentioned last time we commentated was that, or excuse me, I was with Julian last time. That was yeah, I was gonna say, I don't recall this, yeah, but whatever. Sorry. Whatever. Um, <laughs> I was a if spectator. You, <laughs> if, you know, if you only have a pair of dumbbells and they feel a bit heavy for, you know, this, how, big of a set these are, you could always hold one dumbbell at your chest during okay. the squats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold one dumbbell for the presses. Yeah. And for those of you who don't have wall balls or don't have a target high enough to throw a wall ball to, yeah. a single dumbbell thruster is an excellent way um, to customize that movement. When it comes to throwing that wall ball, it is um, a big choice about the height where you throw it and also where you throw it. If it's a yeah. if flat surface, an even surface, you're gonna notice here in a minute when Jeb gets to the wall balls, he's gonna be throwing it nice up job. into like an attic crawl space area. <laughs> um, so at this point, he's done it several times. He's used to it. Yeah. But if you're trying to improvise on a weird area, do a, quite a few in the warm up yeah. um, to kind of get that rhythm down. Because you can make just about anything work as Absolutely. long as you set into that rhythm. Um, sometimes we've gone and thrown it outside on these like misshapen bricks, stones, I guess you could call yeah, them. Yeah, they're like yeah. stones. 
And if, if you find the right spot, all you need is a, a weird little surface, it'll work just fine. Yeah. So Jeb, uh, it was 20 seconds ahead. He yep. finished his push press 20 seconds ahead of last sure time. Sure did. And was about seven reps deep oh. before he before he would have started last time. So Fantastic. So he is definitely on track. Let's see if he can maintain those smaller wall ball sets and not fall off too much. I hope that he gets it. I hope he gets it. I hope he gets it. I do too. One thing on the wall balls, guys, is it can be, I guess, easy to kind of just go through the motions, but you will be so taxed, both your squatting muscles and your pressing muscles. I mean, that's what we wanted. Yeah. That you might just go through the motions. I feel like you guys did that on purpose. Yeah. It can be real butthead sometimes. Yes. Um, so really focus on finishing your throw. I think about like almost extending through the wrists. You know, especially for yeah. me, because I'm vertically challenged. Yeah. I'm not, you know, Jeb has the benefit of I'm just being laughing because I love when you show the demo. <laughs> when I'm demonstrating that what I'm no talking about. No one can see. <laughs> just you like, can see me. Woo. You can see me. I also, I know um, Jeb's not, and maybe he doesn't, he just doesn't, well, you know, in his case, the ball comes back to his hands a lot really faster. Really quickly. Yeah. For me, I have to wait a little bit. So yes. it's okay for me to kind of like, I do call it a swan dive, but yes. I like sweep my arms out to the side and yes. bring them back in front of my face to catch the ball and just relax my shoulders a bit. So if that's an option for you, great. Try that out. I definitely, like you said, recommend practicing in the yeah. warm-up because oh. it can be tricky. awkward. It's tricky and, and you, you might, might get a ball to the face. You might. <laughs> it's always <laughs> two minutes remaining always in the this possibility for Alex. If he's doing the roundabout arm moves, yes. is the ball to the face. I will say too, guys, if the ball, if you mess up a throw and it's falling ahead of you or kind of falling behind you, just let it fall to the ground. Yeah. I don't know in this particular instance if it's worth uh, wrestling the ball back into your front rack. You know, I don't like know, trying but it's to... ever worth wrestling well, it back. Sometimes we've programmed quite a few unbroken wall ball yeah. workouts, and in that Ooh. scenario. It is worth I that, guess. you know? But this one in particular, yeah. just let it fall, pick it back up, mm. get started again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, man, Jeb is crushing it. He has a minute, 10 seconds left to get as many wall ball reps as he can. He's really, really just showing off how hard he is. Oh my <laughs> God, right on. Okay, so moving right along. Um, <laughs> Hera. Hera. What kind of goddess is Hera? <laughs> so Hera is queen of the gods. Oh. She is the wife of Zeus. In fact, the reason that we programmed this workout in this way is we took squats and we took presses and we married them together oh. to make wall balls. Okay. Um, so that's one of the, the hidden meaning behind this workout because she was the wife of Zeus, so yeah. we were like, oh, we'll just play into that little, that little storyline. Um, she is the queen of superhuman strength, eternal youth, and ability to bless and curse. And I'm sure Jeb is cursing her right now. Here Let's go, go, Jeb. Jeb. Oh. Five seconds, bud. She's also very jealous Three. and vengeful, which I think who goes with this workout. Nice. Time. Time. And that was Hera. I, I feel like, yeah, the vengeful part is pretty mm -hmm. evident in this one in that um, after you just did those squats and you just did those push press, you now have to do a wall wall. And that sounds vengeful to me. Sure does. 100%. I wonder how many, Jeb, how many did you get? 85. 85. Wow. Jeb Holy got 85 smokes. reps. So he smoked his previous sounds self. Sounds like his experiment. By 13 reps. Mathematically speaking, that's mm. correct, yes. Um, 70, 70, 70, it's a little bit uh, more than 13. No, no, you're 85. Right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Eight, I carried 13. the one. You carried the one. Well, <laughs> yes. um, yeah, so this experiment really paid off. I think that he did well. It was obviously smart of him to break it up in a smaller set so he didn't burn out so quickly on those push press and the wall ball. We'll see how it actually went for him. At one point, he did yell out, it's not working. So let's find <laughs> out how Jeb actually felt about Hera. Okay, guys, um, broke up the squats a little differently this time. Instead of last time, 25, 15, 10, 
I did 28, 22 without putting them down, but I took some pauses in the top. So I changed my uh, cadence, if you will. I will. Uh, and then for the push presses, definitely it started with se uh, sevens versus last time I think I wanted to go like 10 or 12 in the first set. I tried to go sevens the whole way through, which left me with eight reps. Split that into four and four to try and just give my shoulders a little bit of rest before the wall balls. Got to the wall balls a little bit faster this time than the first time through. So that was cool. Didn't want to get ahead of myself. Kept it with uh, sevens all the way up to the very end. Maybe I think I ended with, uh, I don't even remember, but it broke it up somehow a little differently. Um, ended up getting more reps this time. I feel uh, more even in terms of where this workout hit me. So my shoulders are definitely smoked, but like nowhere near like they were. Felt like the wall balls were a lot better. It allowed me to do more of them and allowed me to express, I don't know, a little bit more complex of a, a movement pattern, which I always like to do. So all in all, big win for you guys that are redoing this. I'd encourage you, even if you're gonna do the same way, uh, or like the same weight and that kind of thing, play with some of those little things. Uh, work duration, like how long you're working for, how many reps you're doing at a time, the amount of time you're resting in between, um, maybe some different mechanical things, like how are you moving, what might you change, be more explosive here, less explosive there, all that kind of stuff. It just makes the whole workout experience a lot more fun, and you learn something too. So, enjoy it.